Nissan Leaf Motor, Field Weakening Test. Okay, here's a, a quick demonstration of field weakening on a Nissan Leaf Motor. We're going to be running it at about 60 volts DC, and we're using a, a 2013 Nissan Leaf Motor controller with uh, with their own board put in instead. And let's see. So we're gonna just rev the motor up, and <clears throat> without field weakening at 60 volts, it runs at about maybe a thousand and sixty or a thousand and eighty RPM, somewhere around there. So this is basically that, and then and then as you keep applying voltage. Now what it's starting to do is it's using it's having a negative ID which is basically creating a magnetic field that's fighting against the magnets to make them weaker so that it, the motor can spin faster. It reduces the torque but this is an unloaded motor so it doesn't need much torque to spin anyway so it's weakening the magnets to allow it to spin faster. So as I turn the throttle up, now it's maybe 1300 RPM or 1350, whatever. We'll look at the data after the, the video to kind of show what's happening, but the ID needs to be uh, like hundreds of amps for it to really make a major impact. Like to get 20% increase over the baseline RPM year. Well, I'll have to see the data because honestly I don't know yet. But it's, it's not like 5 or 10 amps. It's like 100 amps or 150 or 200 amps or something. just so that the data looks more interesting. Little regen. Now I'll speed it back up. There's the baseline again. I'll gradually increase it. Always a little scary having it be 200 amps with these little, but it's inside the. I'm just going to slow it down and then take a look at the data now. One of the scary things about field weakening is you don't want it to suddenly instantly cut off because the suddenly then the how would you describe it it's like the you're weakening the magnets and all of a sudden you pull that that away completely and there's suddenly a, a back EMF that comes roaring back that wants to send a voltage spike back to, to destroy something. I don't know, I just, just have to be careful. Okay, so we're going to look at the data and see what what it is for the ID and the IQ for and how much ID you need for each increase for, for the RPM over the baseline at, at around 60 volts. Okay, that's about it. So here's the some of the data results. You can see where the the direct current, which is the field weakening current, as it gradually becomes more negative, the RPM gradually increases. You see the direct current goes down in steps, and you can see tiny steps in the RPM going up. And then also you can see as the direct current becomes more negative, there's a gradual increase in the the battery amps being used.
Here's a sort of zoomed in picture where the you can see the steps in the direct current corresponding to the the increases in the RPM.